What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode. We are here with freaking Trippy. He's got his VTX. He's doing a bunch of different things to that thing. Now guys, if you see this video on this channel, remember this video probably will not be posted till June 20, 28th. My video. Uh, doing working on this bike. Um, today is actually June 3rd. June Ooh, 3rd. Sunny, sunny. I got videos booked until June 27th. This is going to probably be June 28th, maybe or so. Yeah, I'm just going crazy, guys. Buddy. Crazy. But look at all the stuff he's got. He's got some oil, diff fluid, oil filter, VTX rad cover. Uh, the horns in the bag, and that's from the new horn. That's from the Tao e bike. Yeah, horn's pretty easy right there. Same with the cover. Hope maybe we'll get a shot of that when he's doing that. And uh, let's go show you what I'm doing. Yeah, because. I am, if you guys seen the last video, did the electrolysis. It worked all right. It kind of did. But we got a little, oh, I gotta adjust the light here, guys. Oh, fuck yeah, man. Wow. It worked pretty good, but I know you guys can't see down in there. But there was a liner. So underneath the liner is pretty well mint, but... The guy left it sitting with the liner and the liner got rusty. So now the liner is coming out on the inside. So I've been sitting doing the uh, electrolysis for about two days. We're going to take it in the backyard and pressure wash the inside and see if we can get a lot of that off. This stuff comes right off, guys. Don't worry about that. They're just a little bit of white spooge. That's from the electrolysis boiling over. I think he was out there whacking it a little bit too hard. And that's what we use for our mixture. Oh, sorry so clean uh we got an oil filter and some yama lube the good stuff yeah the good stuff so yeah that's uh, what we're doing today hey, i'm gonna go rash. back there you like that shirt road rash it's my work shirt I'm working on the honda <laughs> the honda the honda the honda <laughs> davidson so i think he's gonna go up there and crack his oil let that drain out crack i'm gonna go back there and start power washing the oh, shit out oh. of this I think I found a rock. Oh, I got here a nice rock. Oh, that's actually like, ooh, <laughs> cat poo maybe. <laughs> there is a black cat. Oh, it's cat poo. There's a black cat that walks around here too. No, 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 no. Okay, guys, I'm gonna power wash this, and uh, we'll show you see what it did <sighs> after, guys. I've been back there power washing for a few minutes. I don't know if you can see in there. I'll try and use my light a little bit. You can see it's pretty much rust free. Oh. Besides, it's all clean. We move down here. You can. See, it's hard to see, but you can see the the uh, what do you call it thingy just does not want to come off. I got a problem. You got a problem? Yeah, I put the drain plug in. and I stripped it. And now it's like loose. It falls right out. You're lying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, nice and shiny. But the coating that someone put on will not come off. There you go, you can kind of see it there, guys. So I'm gonna have to put something in there to kind of break it away in chunks is my best guess. I think I might throw a chain or something in there. I think there's a chain somewhere here I had before. Trippy just got his oil filter off. I think we might be cutting that open if he got a cutter. Or he probably forgot. <laughs> chainsaw right there. <laughs> there's a chainsaw right there. So I'm gonna find something I can throw in this tank and shake it around like you guys have seen before. Probably a big chain or something, and then we'll see what that does. See if oh, it breaks hey it up. Look, this is oil right here, right? Hmm, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what Honda guys do, not Harley. They're, they're... That's just a work shirt, guys. I wipe my hands, it's for grease. Oh, yeah. it's meant to have oil on it. Yeah. Anyways, they leak oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, that, no lie about that. My bike don't leak, and it's a Honda. <laughs> it just burns. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Just a Power washing away. Ooh, that's brown. Okay, I'm gonna try putting some of this so clean in there, see if that helps. Oh, 
coming out there. Oh, 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 stop, 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 stop. That's what I want. I want it to break up and start falling out in pieces, but I need someone that can hook this up to a wheel or something and let it spin for hours with nuts and bolts. Oh, we're recording. Hey, fellas, what's up? Yeah, we're recording. This is trippy. I got a little in the stick hood. there for a tripod. Can I steal you for a sec, though? Yeah, I'm gonna do yep. this. Spray, spray. Let's see a trippy. Good, but I just don't want to get any oil on the driveway. Let's go see a trippy. See what trippy's up to. Trippy, when it comes to mechanical work, I should be very clean. And I just have this back. Hee hee. Yeah, if I can just give you guys. So that way I can pay attention and make sure there's not going to be any oil and I can make sure I can move the tray if you need to. I'm not going to step on it if I swing my leg down there, am I? If anything, no, you have to be, if you step on my hand, yeah, you're good. Oh yeah, I seen that coming out. Oh yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Trippy's doing an oil change, guys. Oh, she's still hot. I can feel it on my leg. I touch the exhaust. Every <laughs> pouring out, okay. So let's see where. We'll sit here for a minute, guys. Yeah. Ah, and enjoy a nice break on the Trippy's bikes, on his bicycle. We got uh, tipsy. Oh, are you? This has this been all time lapse. Oh, Trippy been time lapsing the whole time. <laughs> I, would I suck. think we've been time lapsing, guys. Uh, Squeeze the clutch a couple times, guys. Get that oil out of there. So we got tipsy. <laughs> I don't know this. if that makes sense or not. I've uh, taken the filter off. I put the new filter on. Um, now we're just double draining, which you know it'll be good. It'll be good. You know this way, this way. If she doesn't drain out this way, when I lean it your way? No, yeah. Only in the middle. The seat's pretty comfy. Yeah. City bus. Hey, dude. We're going away for the night. Their thing is way down there where they put them. Hell yeah, guys. Okie dokie, guys. So, just helping Trippy there for a little bit. And then I went and Googled how to remove tank seal. Uh, the tank seal, like the rubbery crap that someone put in there, like old tank seal. And apparently I need to fill my tank with acetone and I do not have that we might try and make it tonight Trippy's googling hours so for now I'm gonna get the uh, chain out of there I'm gonna just take this up front actually <laughs> gotta go up here up here look how nice that is underneath the the sealer the sealer got rusty it's actually really nice in there, as you can see. Just need to get that tank sealer off, the old tank sealer. And we'll be good, but we need to fill this thing with acetone. And it'll eat away at it. And hopefully, and try not to get any on the paint, because it'll eat away the paint too. So, uh, I gotta get this chain out. See if we can get this chain out, guys. Our little hook. We got it guys, and I don't know if you can see, but this chain has a whole bunch of uh, the old tank sealer falling off of it. So it was getting some of the crap off. Oh, we're on focus there. 
But we're gonna need something a little heavier to get it all off. We got our chain all washed off, guys. Oh, it's nice and clean. It was covered in chunks. These chunks right here, as you can see, coming out the old tank sealer. It's like a rusty brown. It was coming out in small chunks, but I think the uh, see if I can get a good picture. Maybe not. We need acetone, guys. I it out. Okay, guys. The tank is gonna have to wait. We gotta get some acetone for that. So that's the end of that for now. For tonight, anyways. We gotta hunt down some acetone for that thing. Trippy got his oil all changed up. Yeah. <laughs> Too much power, bud. Too much power. Got her all changed up. Oil there. There we go. Fresh oil change. Good for another. Eight thousand. I think they said on Honda's website for this bike. No, that's what the manual says. 5,000 miles. 5,000 miles. It's going to need a little bit more. A little bit more. Just a tad bit more. Hell yeah, guys. Okay, guys. So we got some acetone. Kind of leaving off where we left off on the last video or the other day, I should say. Same video, we're probably gonna put it all as one. We got three things of acetone. I don't think we'll need it all, but I got it just in case. We're gonna pour it in this tank and hopefully that's gonna work. We're gonna slosh it around, leave it on a side, side, bottom, upside down, and it eats away pretty quick, like 20 minutes of get this liner out, see how it works. Okay guys, we've had three uh, things of acetone sitting in here for about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. You can see all the crud. Just building up around the outside. That's going to be shaking. It's all breaking down. You can see a nice shiny tank in there. It's so hard to get a good shot in there, guys. But believe me, it's working like crazy. Working really nice. So I'm probably going to let it sit a little bit longer. And we'll come back to you when we're uh, taking all the acetone out. And rinsing the tank out. Okay, guys. So we've had the acetone in there sloshing around for quite a while. Helper here, we're gonna hold this and see how much crap we can get out of the acetone. So maybe we can use it again if we need to. Oh, yeah, guys, look at that. Ew, it's red. Is it getting you? Yeah, that's like pure black. That stuff was clear, guys. Okay guys, as you can see there, look at that stuff. Definitely, definitely real gunky. That's very disgusting. Okay guys, we're gonna spray this thing out now. Before we get the pressure washer out, we'll see what we can get out with the hose. Stuff in there, guys. I want you can see all that crap building up around the the top there. Maybe, maybe not. Give it another spray. Okay, guys. What we're gonna do? We pressure washed. We rinsed. We did a whole bunch of stuff. There's still some crap in there. We're gonna need to dissolve to get through the hole in the bottom. So we're gonna reuse. A dirty acetone because this stuff is expensive. I dump that in there. Let it sit a little longer. So guys, I think since the acetone's in there, I'm gonna just help it out a little bit with this chain, break up any more big dirty crap that's sticking. Chain seems to work pretty good. A 
Bye-bye, Jane. Okie dokie guys, so what we've done so far, I've been just kind of busy running back and forth to rinsing it out, shaking it with the chain. So right now I got it sitting in acetone again here, I'll show you. I got it sitting with more acetone in it, well what's left of what I had with the chain in there. It's mostly clean, except for like, as you see that's pretty darn clean, you see that smokiness? I think that's the acetone in there doing its job, but... It's mostly clean besides like down in the bottom corners. It's hard to see, but there's still a little bit of sludge down in there left of the uh, tank sealer, old tank sealer anyways. And we're gonna let that sit. I'm probably gonna shake it some more times and then we'll come back to you uh, when we get that done. Okie dokie guys. So since you've seen this last, we went and got more acetone about, ah, uh, one liter I think and filled it up again with some fresh stuff let me tell you it's expensive so uh, let's see what comes out now it sat about I don't know 12 12 hours ish overnight let's see nice and red that's what we want that means it's working because it's supposed to be clear guys it went in clear Lots of chunks I see. I don't hear anything banging around in there like last time, like chunks of inner liner. But I guess that could be a good sign. Let's set that there. Open up the gas cap and have a look. The old brapper keys here. Brap. Oh, you can hear those kids off in the distance somewhere. Too bad, I'm gonna have to get my, my uh, phone, look down in there. Well, the nuts and bolts are working. Looks like it, yeah. Okie dokie guys, let's see what kind of crap we can get out of this thing again. Well, maybe I'll leave it down like that. We're gonna give her a few more rinses guys. And then uh, we'll meet you back up, see where we can see in there. Okie dokie guys, so the tank is almost clean. There's still just some stuff like on the very bottom of the tank all the way around that just doesn't seem to want to come out. As you can see, that crap is very, very dirty. But a lot of chunks came out in that. I'm going to end up putting the petcock back in the bottom. And then I'm going to put that stuff back in the tank to let it sit maybe throw some nuts and bolts in there and shake it around a bit and, uh, and then we'll show you what's in the bottom of that i couldn't get a video with this camera but i'll show you what i got with my phone and uh you guys can see what i'm talking about the inside of the tank and then we'll go and show you what's left what came out on this run in there okay guys we're gonna dump this stuff back in maybe throw some nuts and bolts in there too and shake her up Try not to get the stuff in the bottom here, and just the acetone back in. Remember this one ain't clear. Hopefully it still works when it's a little dirty, rusty color. Look at that sludge guys. I'll zoom you out a bit. Oh, out. Look at the sludge in that. So it's still breaking it down. We'll let her sit in there with some, we'll put some nuts and bolts in there and stuff too and then uh, shake it around and let it sit even longer. After a lot of acetone, nuts and bolts and shaking and a water rinse, that's what we have. That little line down there is just some water. It'll disappear. Look how nice and clean that is. My phone's the only thing that'll get a shot in there with the light. Okie dokie guys, kind of stopped filming for a while there got busy and uh, just focused on cleaning this tank out but we did a lot of rinsing and washing with the acetone and nuts and bolts and shaking the shit out of it but she's all back together covered in fingerprints we'll clean that up later and we did a gas rinse and you can see all the black stuff is uh, from the acetone that was the leftover tank sealer and then that's gas sitting in there on top of it a little bit of 
dirt and crap in the corner there. And uh, now it's time to put some fresh gas in it and see if she fires up. Okay guys, first start up in a while. Hopefully she starts. A little bit of chill. It's priming. sat for I think a few weeks with no gas in the carb so the floats were sticking so we had a gas leak we took it back the wife actually cleaned the carbs again and uh, now we got it running good we got the cluster on gas tanks clean carburetors are clean everything's good and let's hear it fire up and we did already test it so it's hot so Works good, guys. Put our here. That'll be the end of that one. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.